Here on the Tumen River, the frozen border with China, the camera crew are about to see how dangerous the decision to escape can be. From China, you can see the North Korean guards who patrol their side with orders to shoot anyone trying to escape. That's how Hannah remembers it when she, then still a child and orphaned by the famine, tried to cross ten years ago. At the Two Men River, soldiers were patrolling the crossing. We climbed the hill and I hid with the woman. It was getting dark and snowing hard. As night fell and the temperature dropped, Hannah and her guide waited for the guards to leave their post so they could break cover and run. Finally, numb with cold, they saw their chance. The soldiers had gone. My guide knew the way, so we started running. There was a full moon that night, and suddenly some more soldiers appeared. The river was frozen. It was 150 meters wide. But as we ran, we fell over. It was very slippery, and I just kept falling over. We just kept running. We were so scared. Hannah escaped and has never looked back. But for one regret, her younger sister was left behind, trapped in North Korea. The memory has haunted her for ten long years. Back in 1997, I took care of my sister and we lived together. But because I couldn't support her, she was sent to an orphanage. I sent many people to look for her, but it was just too difficult to find her. But now, Hannah's found out where she lives and wants to rescue her. She's raised the money to smuggle her sister out. She's hoping they can make a new start together and leave the miseries of communist North Korea behind. Hannah's long lost sister doesn't want her face to be shown. It's her first time outside North Korea, and this is their first meeting since childhood. She's torn. <laughs> No one talks like this in North Korea. Hannah's sisters never heard her country's leaders criticized this way. Hannah can't believe it. 
her sister's determined to go back to North Korea. What made me feel so betrayed was that she was choosing her political beliefs over her own sister. I guess growing up in the orphanage made her feel more for the state than for her own family. Hannah's mission's been in vain. Her sister insists on being smuggled back into North Korea. She doesn't want to be rescued. Hannah knows she may never see her again. Officially, this border is strictly closed.